the top of the world in Canada's southwest. Muddy conditions. They deal with the dry, dusty road. going on? Uh, it's been quite a while. Uh, I haven't posted a video now in, well it's been a few months anyway. Um, as most of you may know, um, I can tell by that intro there, uh, no longer doing any dirt road trucking. I've given that up after uh, seven years of trying to make it in that business just wasn't working out, there's not enough money in it, and uh, I've uh, ventured my way back out to the oil patch in Western Canada, uh, working for a company called Calfrac Well Services. Um, we basically, um, what our job entails is we go in after, um, a drilling crew has gone in, they've dug a well, and uh, we go in and we fracture the ground to try and let natural gas escape up out of the ground. Um, it's a pretty good job. Uh, I'm away from home for 22 days straight and then I fly back here to Ontario and I'm home for 13 days off. Um, I'm on my second uh, rotation for days off right now and uh, I go back in about a week. Um, there's good money to be made. You gotta, right, but there's lots to learn, and uh, you deal with a lot of extreme weather. And uh, so far, been pretty lucky. I haven't had to deal with this one yet, but uh, a couple times, you know, having to chain up the truck. Um, but I guess there's lots of areas where. We'll go to certain job sites or whatever, I guess, and they said you'll be putting on tire chains and taking them off like five, ten times a day. So, not looking forward to that. Uh, but, uh, now I just wanted to make a small video here and give you all an update and let you know what was going on. And, uh, we can't really film too much out there. They don't allow it. I'm going to, uh, maybe see what I can get. And uh, maybe some stuff around our shop and our equipment and stuff and trucks and uh, we'll, we'll keep you in touch and let you know what's going on and see what I can get on camera. Um, I'll just, well, well, here I'll even uh, I'll show you right now. I'll show you some of the uh, pictures that I've posted on my Facebook. Anyway, um, there's some here where oh we're out on a well site and it was pretty cold that morning, minus 35 degrees Celsius, um, a little bit of ice fog floating around, um, and uh, there's another one here of, um, I believe this, yeah, this is one of our uh, fluid pump trucks, and uh, just give you an idea of what some of our equipment looks like. But anyway, like I said, just want to give you a quick update and uh, let you guys know what's going on. And, um, I'll see if I can uh, get some more videos out and uh, we'll keep in touch. And uh, just wanted to say uh, good luck to Sean Sutherland, our old buddy Eskimo there, who's on his way back up to Yellowknife. Uh, I think he leaves, I know he's out in British Columbia right now, and he'll be heading up to Yellowknife right shortly. Uh, ATK, uh, glad to see you're back, and I'm not so glad that you say you might be leaving already, but alrighty. Uh, hope things all work out for you for whatever you got coming up. Uh, and everybody else, I mean the rest of the gang, Tex and NJ Catwoman, you know, uh, Little Trucker, everybody. And uh, Danny, yeah, some bitch, cross country videos. All these guys. And uh, somebody who's kind of missing in action there is uh, good old driver Jeff. Anybody uh, talks to him, let him to get us sorry butt up and uh, make another another video so we can see what he's up to nowadays and uh, but anyways all of you uh, hope you're all doing good and uh, 
We'll uh, talk to you all soon. Catch you later.